words, encouraging words tonight, God. Touch them all. I ask you, oh God, to word my mouth, oh God. Yes, oh God. Tell me what to say and where to say it. Yes, how to say, oh God. And I know that you will do that for me, oh God. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Give it out to Bishop and Mother Nancy, the afternoon. To uh, Ella Hobson and first, the first lady Hobson and her, her, her absent. Truly, God is good. Yes. Truly, he yes, is, is. Yes. good. Yes. And I cannot thank him enough. Yes. If you only knew what God had done for me, Praise you'd God. be a calling, shouting, running, doing everything that you can. Yes. You know, last night I went out to my son's house and I was talking to him. And I said, son, I said, I'm nervous. He said, huh? He said, just be yourself. That's it. Yeah. He said, you can't be like everybody, anybody. Uh -huh. He said, God uses you, everybody, differently. Yeah. Plus, we love Just you. be yourself. <laughs> just do what God tells you yeah. what to do. So we love and I said, okay, son. And I said, he said, uh, what is the subject, mother? I said, moving forward. I had to call Sister Val. You know, when you get old, you get know, older, <laughs> you kind of get things kind of mixed up. That's and twist right. up, you know? But moving forward, by like going back to basics. Yes. And he said, well, Mama, you know about basics. He said, you know where you came from. He said, you know exactly where you came from, from that old church of God. Yeah. That sanctified church. And I said, son, I said, that's right. So as I came on back home, and I said, Lord, I said, I don't want to be out of the way. Or I said, I just want you to just use me. I said, just... Tell me what to do. Right. You can't tell me testimonies. Yeah. Testimony. All right. And I'm going to tell you a little about that testimony in a few minutes. All right. We only got just a little short time. But moving forward, by going back to basin, if I find Jeremiah 6 and 16. Yes. Right. If we completely give ourselves to God, Jesus. He would give us all our needs to fulfill our ministry. Yes. And right. that means going back to basic. Uh -huh. yeah. And that basic is praying. Yes. Crying yes. out to the Lord. Yes. Crying yes. on your knees. Yes. Asking God to give you wisdom. Asking God to give you yes. understanding. Yes. Yes. Next, we're going to go into fasting. All right. All right. Fasting is reading the word of God, meditating on him day and night in Psalms 1 and 2, believing in God, trusting in God, that he's going to do just what you ask him to do. And that's going back to basic. Yes. And when you go there, you're going to move forward into God. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And we need to ask God to give more of him to us and less of ourselves. All yes. right. And ask God to shine upon us. Yes. And only thing that God is waiting is looking for a willing vessel. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. A willing vessel. Yes. 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 If you just give your heart, your mind, your soul to him, yes. and he will use you. Yes. And he can use anybody in anything. Yes. yes. And just open up your heart and just say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Right. And God will show up. Yes. And I was thinking about this great song about a long time ago by Andre Crouch. It said, Take me back. Yes. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first see. Oh, take me back, take me back. 
in 2009, and this woman of God, I don't know, she just came to me, and my surgery wasn't even old, so it was in January, and in December, she came to me, and she pulled me, and I, the devil just tell me, now look at here now, you got all them screws, and all in you, and all that, and you fall out, you ain't gonna be able to get up. But she kept on talking and she kept on praying for me. Yeah. And the Spirit of the Lord just knocked me down. The yeah. devil again told me, well, no. you ain't going to get up. No. Jesus. How are you going to get up? Jesus. But you know, God came in that night and he healed me. Oh, God. He oh, healed me God. completely. And I give him the glory and the honor. Yeah. And back in December, January, no, yeah, November, I had another little surgery. I came out of that just fine. Mm -hmm. And as I was going through the surgery, I, I kept losing weight, and I just didn't know what was going on. And I said, Lord, what is going on? Anything, if I drank water, if I swallowed my saliva, just anything, I would just throw it up, and I lost almost 35 pounds. Jesus. But I wasn't trying to be with just my sickness that it was. Mm -hmm. But I went out that night, that one day. And as I went out, I fell out. And my children took me to the emergency room, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to be in no hospital no more. So they called my husband. He said, take her there. Tell you, okay. What she said, get her there, and I'll meet y'all there. So when I got there, they couldn't find out what was wrong with me, but they found out something else what was wrong with me. Kept losing a little more weight, kept getting sick, kept praying, going back to basics. Yes. And I couldn't fast because I couldn't keep nothing down on my stomach. So I just kept praying. I kept believing. I kept trusting him. I said, God, I said, what is this? I said, you got to heal this. Got to I said, you got to do it. I said, I ain't ready to go yet. I said, I think I got some work I got to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, yeah. 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 come on, you heal me. So as I went to the doctor, she uh, looked at me, you know, and she was telling me some things. And oh, I kept going to different doctors. So my daughter, she said, Mom, you ain't going back to Baptist. I love Baptist. She said, no, I ain't going to be. She said, I can know too many doctors here. You're a mess. She said, I'm going to find somebody there. So she found somebody there for me. <laughs> when I went there, they told me what the, the test was, and they were saying that it didn't look good, you know. And I said, oh, my God. They said, we're going to have to send you to another specialist. I said, Lord, come on. I said, don't tell me I got this big C. I said, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. So she sent me to another one, and they found the same thing, and they said, uh, it looked bad. He said, we got to take it out. But I'm still trusting God. I'm still believing. I'm still going back as basic to what I was brought up on. Yes, 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 yes. And it's good, y'all. Y'all might think that back in the day, you know, it was so old for me, but some of that stuff is good. But it looked back for them there. It's taking the same for us today, but it's yeah. taking a little more. It's taking a little more of us fasting and praying so that God can use us and can move us forward. Yeah. But when I went, he told me, he said, yeah, got to have surgery. Got to do it right away. I said, no, I don't want to go. I said, I got something I got to do. So my daughter said, no, sit up right now. Sit up and point me right now. So when I went so when I went into the surgery, Ella Thomas, he tried to get there, but he couldn't. But he called, and we put him on the speaker. And the doctor, they kept, you know, they came in. And when they saw he was praying, and my family was there, who was praying and they just closed the door and shut and just let them finish praying. So we asked the doctor, how long was it going to be? He said, it's going to take two and a half hours, plus about two to three hours for you to recover. I said, okay. So my children got to hollering and crying, you know. I said, I'm going to be all right. Because he told me that. He told me so. And I'm keeping my faith and I'm still believing and trusting. Yes. I'm still going back to basics. Yes. I'm living on that. Yes. Uh, so I went in there and um, we went. So they two and a half hours. So as I came out, I didn't know. But I'll tell you how good and how awesome. Our oh God is an awesome God. He yes. reigns from heaven above yes, yes. wisdom. Our oh God is an awesome God. Our oh God is an awesome God who reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Our oh God and love our God. I say that 
because when I had my surgery in two and a half hours, I had had the surgery and was ready to come home. Jesus. Then take the five hours. Jesus. Then take it. But two and a half hours, I came out of surgery shining like gold. No cancer, no nothing. But they thought that they said it was going to be. 